Hey guys, so one of the questions that I get the most is which Warburg move is the best and which one should I be using and how to use them. So I just wanted to make a quick video reviewing each of the three Warburg moves and how to use them and how good they are. So at the start of the game you start with the focus shot and the Echelian draw. So I'm gonna start with those two Warburg skills and later in the game you unlock the aerial aim. So I'm also gonna cover this one at the end. So without delay, let's start with the first Wirebug skill, the Focus Shot. So the Focus Shot takes one Wirebug to use and the Wirebug takes 10 seconds to come back. And during the story progression and early game, this skill is pretty nice for stamina regeneration, but end game when you can slot stamina search 2 or 3 pretty easily, it gets pretty irrelevant. The only use to this move if you really want to use it is that it gives a lot of iframes at the beginning of the move. So if you're gonna get hit by a monster and you're stuck in an animation, you can use the focus shot to get out of the way. However, that means that to use this move, you have to rely on making mistakes and I'm not sure that I like this idea. And on top of that, the recovery animation of the focus shot is very long, so it slows down your gameplay a lot and your damage uptime really suffers. So overall, I really don't think I can recommend the focus shot. If you want to use it, feel free to do it, but I don't think it's a very good skill at all. Okay, so let's talk about the Echelian draw. It's pretty funny because the Echelian draw at first, I thought was really awkward and, and I didn't know how to use it. But with more experience, I actually love this move. So the damage buff that you get for using that move is nice, but that's not the main reason why you use it. The main reason you use the Herculean Joe is for repositioning and stamina regeneration. If you watched my last video, you will know that Stamina Surge 3 in Rise has been buffed and now grants a 40% stamina regeneration boost instead of 30%. That means that this buff, coupled with the Herculean Joe, lets you regen a lot of stamina when you use this evade. And another reason it's so good is that it lets you cancel your shot animation. So as you can see on this clip, on the right side with the draw, I'm able to cancel the shot animation in 26 frames. And on the left side, when I'm trying to dash after a power shot, it takes me almost double the time with 60 frames. One good way to use it when you have your bugs is, for example, on this clip, I'm being very aggressive and I dodge the tail slam at the last second with the Herculean draw. So this lets me feed as much damage as possible and regen stamina and get a free evade at the same time. Another good way to use this is for repositioning yourself. So on this clip you can see that I'm being very aggressive and my stamina is getting low so after I finish my combo, I preemptively reposition myself to the side with a draw to regen stamina and get out, out of a bad positioning. One good tip that I can give you is when all of your bugs are available and you have no bugs on cooldown, you want to use the Achillean draw as soon as you get the chance, uh, assuming that your stamina is not full. And the reason is, not having a wire bug on cooldown is a waste of, of wire bug efficiency. It's better to use your Herculean draw two or three times before you run out of stamina completely, rather than just hold on to it for the whole fight and use it once when you're completely out of stamina. So because of this, having good wire bug management will help you with your stamina management as a bow player. And lastly, before we move on to the aerial aim, uh, it helps a lot to pick up the third wire bug because if you have three wire bugs, it essentially means that you can do an Herculean draw every 10 seconds, which is very good. So lastly, let's talk about the aerial aim. So the aerial aim only takes one bug, but the regeneration for that bug is 20 seconds. That's very long. For example, the Herculean draw in 20 seconds, you regen both bugs. The damage is quite nice, you got a 30% boost to your roll and elemental damage while you're up in the air and you can finish up with a melee that does quite a lot of damage. However, and this may surprise you, but contrary to what we thought initially, this is not optimal for damage. As you can see, in just a little bit less time, by just dash dancing, I'm able to output more damage than with a aerial aim. And this is the best case scenario when I land the melee attack at the end, because often time, if you're too far away, you're not gonna land it, if reducing even further your damage. It doesn't mean that aerial aim is useless, 
Most of the time, the way you use it is when the monster is down or toppled and you're completely out of stamina and not able to dash dance, you can use the aerial aim to keep going and keep preserving most of your damage. However, if a monster is down and you have your bugs and your stamina is full or almost full, it's more efficient to dash dance and spare your bugs to use the draw later on. Of course, there will be situations where aerial aim is useful outside of that situation, but this is case by case and most of the time you're better off dash dancing and keeping your bugs for the affiliate draw. Okay, that's it from me today. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about concerning the wirebug skills. If you have any questions or something that I forgot to talk about, please let me know in the comment sections and I will try to answer them. I uh, see you next time.